Hello everyone, my name is Alveen Karewal and I am from Short Success Nursing Hub. I am going to discuss a very important pharmacological topic about the respiratory medications and uh, I am going to concentrate on the bronchodilators in today's lecture. Whenever we are talking about the bronchodilators, you should first see and think that why we are giving the bronchodilators. There is some of the disease which will make your airway block or constricted. We need some drugs to dilate them, right? So if you will see this um, windpipe, this is the airway and it is constricted. You should know that when we say the bronchospasm or bronchodilation, there is a muscles around our airway and it will get so tight and that is how how it will restrict the air. So whenever you're breathing in or whenever you're breathing out, uh, the pathway is so tight, you are short of breath all the time. And that is why we are going to give you the bronchodilators at those times. Can you recall me some of the uh, indications for bronchodilation? Yes, you are correct. Asthma any allergic reactions where there is a swelling or there is a bronchoconstriction, any allergies due to the medications, right? Or COPD, let's say. So those are some of the indication for bronchodilation. Bronchodilators are usually of two types. The bronchodilator, which I mean, the medication which will relax the smooth muscle around the air. When I say short acting, as the name indicate, it will work in a short term and it is usually used in the emergency situations where you really need a quick relief. For example, acute uh, asthma attack. It will, how it will relax the smooth muscle by activating your fight and flight response. And second type is long acting one. The long acting ones mean that uh, it is usually given in those cases when you have a stable asthma, you have the history of asthma, doctor have prescribed you these bronchodilator for a long term use, take it once a day or twice a day exercising and you have acute exacerbation of asthma. So they will give you the short acting bronchodilators during those times. The example of short acting bronchodilator is salbuterol and atrovent we always use and it has anticholinergic properties and it is very important and flex hotspot topic the important uh, point i want to mention here is that uh, whenever the doctor has prescribed two inhalers be it steroid be it two different bronchodilators you should always wait for five minutes in between and then everybody knows i hope that uh, Always give bronchodilators first and then give the steroids. So let's focus on albuterol because it's a anthrax hot uh, spot question. And uh, since it's a beta 2 uh, agonist and it is short acting uh, bronchodilators and we are always giving it uh, during the acute symptoms and to prevent the exercise induced asthma. Uh, you should be very cautious when you're using these uh, inhalers with the heart disease, diabetic, glaucoma, or seizures uh, patient. The reason is because, as I told you, they have they will activate the fight or flight response in your body. So what does it that mean? For example, if you see the snake, so what is happening? Your heart rate will go up. So that is why you will see that in the, the heart disease patient, any kind of tachycardia or anything. So you should be cautious for those, those ones. How, what about the blood glucose? Your fight and fight response will make your blood glucose go up. And that's why you have to be cautious for the diabetic patients. And again, the same thing, glaucoma, seizures, because it triggers your nervous system. It will trigger the tachycardia. It will cause the headache. And since it has some anticholinergic effects, it will make your mouth dry. Uh, always make sure that you're rinsing the mouth before giving uh, the, sorry, not before, but after giving the bronchodilators or the steroid medication. Since the side effect is dry, a dry mouth, so always uh, ask the patient to have the hard candies, give more fluids, give the oral care, etc. So that's all about today and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.